Hello. Welcome to part two of The Handshake. This is Alpha Wisdom, and this is the channel that tells you or teaches you how to read palms. Okay, and I'm Misty Cassandria. I hope you saw uh, lesson 52. So this is lesson 53, part two of that same thing. There's much to be said about this one as with the others. And as we progress through this, there'll be more things to mention. But these are the major things or the main items of character or characteristics. Okay, so let's begin now. And this is with the water sign, as you see here. All right, listed on your sheet. You can see that the hand shape is rectangular. I explained that in the previous lesson. And the fingers are long and flexible. Okay. Some of the qualities, sensitive, intuitive, visionary, and moody. Yes. Now, with this one, we will find as you measure the palm and you get your results and you measure the fingers and you get your results and you find with the fingers that they may be closer to being the same length and the difference could be maybe a quarter one fourth of an inch or something like that it's still considered a water sign i want to point that out so don't worry if one is very close, but not exactly. Seldom do you find things exact in palmistry when we're talking measurements, okay? All right, I wanted to point that out to you. These people are sensitive, as said. They may be high strong. They're intuitive and offered, often considered psychic. They are forward thinkers and visionaries. They are gentle, creatively gifted, and often highly cultured and refined. Water hands tend to follow their intuition and their emotions rather than through reasonings. They get that gut feeling and they go with that. They feel vulnerable in crowds or unfamiliar familiar situations or unfamiliar surroundings and are uncomfortable in competitive situations. These people are found in these professions, poets, artists, musicians, astrologers, with a, tendency, a tendency to live in the clouds. And we also find um, entertainers, people that we watch regularly in the movies or on television or on Broadway. Okay, that is the water sign. And they are also adaptable and people-oriented. Okay. All right. Let's go on to our last one. All right. As you see there, this is the fire hand. And look at the shape. Rectangular. Fingers short, that is, they are shorter than the palm size measurements. They are competitive. They are bright, meaning into intellect. They're bold, they'll take a chance. And we find entertainers in this area also. Okay, a little more about them. People with fire hands tend to be impulsive, sentimental, and romantic with a need for variety in their lives. They are dynamic, lively, and enthusiastic and cannot live a quiet life. They are strong, positive, and charismatic. They will take the lead position in any group. They are energetic, adventuresome, and intense. These are your actors and your entertainers. The bulk of them 
are from the fire sign. They enjoy being in public. All right? So that's the fire sign. All right. Now, as far as the mixed signs, not all hands will fit into the pattern of one of the above types. A mixed hand will contain two or more characteristics or of another hand, uh, type hand. Often the hand is square in shape with fingers that are different from one another, shape and length. People with mixed hands tend to not stay in one place for long. They will move in different directions, giving the impression of being fickle. People with these hands are adaptable and flexible and mix well with others. This makes it hard to determine any specific career or specific talent. If this sounds like your hand, find the characteristics that fit you and, the, and then determine what hand shape or element you are. And to do that, just look at the characteristics and see which characteristics you tend to fall under. Many of us are mixed or have a combination. All right. Well, I hope this was clear. I hope you understood it. And give a thumbs up if you liked it. There's so much to say about the hands. That's why it's always said, the secrets are hidden in the palms or hidden in the hands. Yes. Okay. And if you have not subscribed, please give, uh, take a moment to just flip the word subscribe and it becomes past tense, subscribed. All right. But thank you anyway. I appreciate it. And it just tells me that you all are interested, and I'm so pleased. Believe me, I am so pleased. So thank you. Thank you. I also thank you for watching, and I wish you a great day. It's getting hot out there, so stay as cool as you can. All right? Until next time, bye.